announcements. Today, we're diving into a recent Q&A session with the one and only Elon Musk. If you're not familiar with him, he's the brilliant mind behind Tesla, SpaceX, and a bunch of other groundbreaking companies. In this particular session, Musk gives us some tantalizing hints about Tesla's future in electromobility, and trust me, you won't want to miss this. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the future of transportation. Now, Elon is known for being a bit of a tease, and he didn't exactly spill all of Tesla's secrets in this Q&A. However, he did drop some major hints about two huge projects that could revolutionize the way we live and work, robo-taxis and the Optimus humanoid robot. Very profound. Seriously, my mind was blown when I heard about these. Let's start with robo-taxis. Imagine a world where you can summon a self-driving taxi with a simple tap on your smartphone. No more hailing cabs on the street or dealing with unpredictable human drivers. Tesla's vision for robo-taxis is a game-changer, and it could make transportation more accessible, affordable, and efficient than ever before. Robo-taxis could provide transportation to people who can't drive themselves, like the elderly or those with disabilities. This would give them a newfound sense of independence and freedom. With no human driver to pay, robo-taxis could significantly reduce the cost of transportation, making it more affordable for everyone. Imagine a fleet of robo-taxis that can communicate with each other, optimizing routes and reducing traffic congestion. This would make our cities more efficient and less polluted. While self-driving technology is still in development, it has the potential to be much safer than human drivers, who are prone to errors and distraction. Now, let's talk about Optimus, the humanoid robot. This is where things get really futuristic. Optimus is designed to take over dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks, freeing up humans to focus on more meaningful work. Think of it as your own personal robot assistant, but on a much grander scale. Industrial Applications Optimus could revolutionize manufacturing, construction, and other industries by automating tasks that are currently done by humans. This could lead to increased productivity, improved safety, and reduced costs. Imagine Optimus helping out around the house, doing chores, cooking meals, or even providing care for the elderly. The possibilities are endless. Reasonable. Of course, with any new technology, there are ethical concerns to consider. Will robo-taxis put human drivers out of work? Could Optimus robots be used for nefarious purposes? These are important questions that we need to address as these technologies develop. But overall, I'm incredibly excited about the future that Elon Musk is envisioning. Robo-taxis and Optimus have the potential to transform our lives in ways we can't even imagine. And while there are challenges ahead, I believe that the benefits of these technologies far outweigh the risks. Elon was asked about his thoughts on the Ariane 6 rocket. Now, this is a big deal in the space industry, but Elon's response was classic Elon. He basically said any rocket that can't be used again and again is, well, not competitive. And you know what? I couldn't agree more. SpaceX, Elon's other company, has been a pioneer in reusable rocket technology. Think about it. If you can launch a rocket, bring it back down safely, and reuse it multiple times, you dramatically cut down the cost of space travel. That's the kind of innovation that opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Now, this got me thinking about Tesla's broader vision. They're not just making electric cars, guys. They're building a sustainable energy ecosystem. They've got solar panels, battery storage solutions, and even plans for a humanoid robot called Optimus. But let's break down what Elon revealed about Optimus. He said this robot is being designed to handle tasks that are dangerous, repetitive, or just plain boring for humans. We're talking about manufacturing jobs, construction work, maybe even household chores. And get this, Elon believes that Optimus could eventually outnumber humans. Now, I know this might sound like science fiction, but the potential implications are huge. Imagine a world where humanoid robots are part of our everyday lives. How would that impact our jobs, our economy, our society as a whole? These are some seriously hard to explain concepts. We're venturing into uncharted territory here, and there are a lot of unknowns. But that's also what makes it so exciting. Elon Musk has a reputation for pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and I believe he's onto something big with Optimus. Number two. 
Thank you. Philip from Quick Chat. I wanted to ask the following question. People love Chat GPT, but unilaterally hate most website chatbot experiences, the bottom right corner ones. What's needed to bridge that gap? I messaged you on X so we can continue this later. I'm not sure I fully understand the question there. But there's, uh, you know, I, I agree Chat GPT is, is great at chatting. The, I, like I said, my concern is that it is not uh, rigorously in pursuit of the truth. And that's, that's a, a, bit, a major concern. So that's it. So Grok will be pursuing, Grok from XAI will at least sort of try its best to be rigorously in pursuit of the truth. And also we want to try to be the funniest AI. So I think, you know, if, if we are going to die, at least we should die laughing. So we're trying hard to make Grok be the funniest AI. Elon, you have been extremely generous with your time. It has been great. You have been truthful. You have given profound answers. I would like that we make a lot of noise to thank you. You are hearing the noise. This means that next year you have to be in person. It's Give you good. the date long time in advance. And before you leave, I will ask you for one word, your biggest hope, one word, your biggest fear. Well, I don't know about one word. I guess my biggest hope, well, I guess I could give you my biggest hope in one word, which would be Mars. That's going to be obvious. So, yeah, Mars, Mars would ensure that we, that consciousness survives for a long time. And my biggest fear, in one word, AI. What a surprise. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You to guess, both of them, I think. Okay. So thank you very much, Elon, you have been great right. as always. And now we come to the latest Tesla news. In April of this year, a remarkable milestone was reached. Global EV sales surpassed 1.1 million units, marking a substantial 21% increase compared to the same period last year. This surge in sales has propelled year-to-date figures to an impressive 4.3 million units, underscoring the growing popularity and adoption of electric mobility worldwide. However, the EV market is not uniform across regions, and growth rates vary significantly. Leading the charge is China, the world's largest EV market, which has experienced a staggering 30% expansion in 2024. Europe trails behind with a respectable 8% growth, while the combined markets of the USA and Canada have seen a more modest 7% increase. While these figures paint a picture of overall growth, a closer examination of the data reveals a nuanced story. A crucial factor driving the surge in sales, particularly in China, is the rising popularity of plug-in hybrid vehicles. These vehicles, which combine a traditional combustion engine with an electric motor and battery, offer a bridge between conventional gasoline-powered cars and full EVs. While they represent a step towards electrification, they are not a complete transition to zero-emission transport. To gain a deeper understanding of the underlying trends, let's turn our attention to a visual representation of the data. This chart, provided by Promotion, illustrates the distribution of EV sales across different regions. The dark portion of each bar represents sales in China, while the remaining portion encompasses the EU, North America, and the rest of the world. A striking observation emerges when we focus on the non-Chinese markets. The sales figures have remained relatively stagnant over the past year. This suggests that while EV adoption is progressing globally, the pace of growth in regions outside of China has been slower than anticipated. This disparity in growth rates raises important questions about the factors influencing EV adoption in different markets. In China, government incentives, robust charging infrastructure, and a growing range of affordable EV models have fueled the rapid expansion of the market. However, these conditions are not replicated uniformly in other regions, where challenges such as higher costs, limited charging options, and consumer hesitancy may be hindering wider adoption. The implications of these findings are significant for the future of the EV industry. While the overall growth trajectory remains positive, the reliance on plug-in hybrids, particularly in China, may not be sustainable in the long term. As governments tighten emissions, regulations, and consumers demand cleaner transportation options, the shift towards full battery electric vehicles will become increasingly imperative. To achieve this transition, it is crucial for policymakers and industry stakeholders to address the barriers hindering EV adoption in regions outside of China. 
This includes expanding charging infrastructure, incentivizing the purchase of full EVs, and educating consumers about the benefits of electric mobility. In conclusion, the global EV market is at a pivotal juncture. While sales have surged in 2024, driven largely by the Chinese market and the popularity of plug-in hybrids, the path to widespread electrification remains complex. The coming years will be critical in determining whether the momentum can be sustained and whether the transition to full EVs can be accelerated in regions that have lagged behind.